Hello and welcome to the asset preview of the day night cycle. Once you imported the day night cycle into your game, you're gonna notice you have a new folder called the day night cycle. In that folder, there is a scene folder. If you go ahead and click on the test scene, you have a need, uh, you have a test scene to play around and take a look of what you are gonna get in this package. If you go ahead and click on play, you can take a look what it looks like in the game. So let's just go ahead and take a simple look. Okay, that's enough. So, if you go ahead and take a look at the scripts folder, there are not a lot of script to play around with. There is only one main script which is called the daylight cycle. Okay, now in, in order to generate this effect or create or import the system into a new scene, um, you're going to want to do something like this. So I'm going to delete all these uh, game objects just to show you that I'm creating a new scene. So there are no objects right now in the scene except for the terrain. I'm going to go ahead and import my main camera. Now this could be attached to a, to a vehicle or anything like that. I'm just going to import the, um, the main camera, provide, uh, the uh, character controller provided by Unity, which is the first person character controller, and then you're gonna want to go to the prefab folder and select the day night cycle prefab and import it into the scene. If you go back to the main camera attached to the first person controller, you're gonna notice that there are some settings that you need to change in order to make this work with your game. In a set the clear flags of the main camera. To depth only. Set the calling mask to not everything. So deselect these three layers. Next, the depth should always be set to zero, not below than zero. If you click on the uh, play button, you're gonna notice that there are some problems in the scene. The sky is not behaving properly. And if you look at the bottom, there is a notification which says, please assign a camera to mimic the rotation. If you go back and take a look into the uh, day and night cycle prefab, there is a sky camera game object. And there is a mimic rotation script attached to it. You need to assign a camera to mimic the rotation. I'm going to assign my main camera to mimic the rotation. If I go ahead and click on play, you're going to notice that now everything works just fine. Okay, now let's take a look at the day night cycle script. If you go inside the day night cycle game object, there is a light controller game object. If you take a look at this game object, there are there is a couple of uh, there is uh, the day night uh, there is a script attached to it, and this is the main script of the system. It's called the day night cycle script. This controls all the main values like cycle speed, start time, time of the day, and all that kind of thing. The main things are night color, day color. The night color is a color that you want to toggle uh, for the light when it is uh, nighttime, and the day color uh, for when it is daytime. 
end of the night and uh, start of the night is for is be, uh, is to turn on and off the directional light uh, sorry change the intensity of the directional light according to the time this uses a 24 hour system so 19 means 7 p.m. The next thing is uh, the next values are sky day color, sky night color. These are the colors that you want to select for your sky, not the light, the sky. Now, if I go ahead and select some darker color like this, or you know, something like grayish, and if I click on play. You're gonna see what's gonna happen. This changes the color of the sky. Next is sun show color. Now this is the color that you want to use for uh, the scattering effect, which is the sunset and sunrise effect. The next main thing is the face change speed. Now this is uh, this is only for the moon. Uh, after every night, moon changes its rotation, its um, its face. If you go ahead into the day night cycle script, there is a lot of comments attached, uh, uh, written for you to understand the behavior of each and every uh, variable. You can go ahead and read them and learn the way you want, and they are really easy to understand.